this exercise, we're going to be doing a hands and knees position, also known as an all fours position. We're going to start with our hands and knees in an equal position, but then we're going to modify this. So we're going to start with hand like this, knees in line, but then we're going to have our right hand and right knee get a little bit closer together. And then we're going to have our left hand make a turn and then left leg comes back a little bit. So we're at this modified angle where we are trying to think of getting a turning position away from the left going towards right. So this will place a little bit more pressure and tension into the right side of my body. I'm feeling more tension in my abdominals. I'm also going to try to round my lower back and bring my head down a little bit. And then I'm going to begin. So I inhale and I exhale. Inhale through my nose. I'm feeling tension in my right side. And then as I exhale, I'm going to think of bringing my left shoulder away from my left hip. So I'm turning. So I'm also pushing this left hip this way. So I push more into my right hip. So I'm not tracking to my left. I'm staying on my right. And then I can switch sides here. Another thing you can do is use an elevated surface, a pillow, a pad of some sort. So I'm going to have my left hand and my left knee on this pad. So this brings the ground up, bringing my right hand across and over my right leg back a little bit. So there's plenty of space between my right hand and my right knee. And I'm going to go. I'm going to have a soft bend in my elbows, so I'm not just using my triceps to stay upright. I'm going to try to push my armpits away from the ground, so I'm using my serratus anterior to do so. And the last piece here is I'm going to bring my head, whatever side I'm turning, that ear is going to go to the shoulder. So in this case, I'm turning to the left, so my left ear is going to my left shoulder.